While transcription of prokaryotic protein coding genes creates messenger RNA that is ready for translation into protein, transcription of eukaryotic genes leaves a primary transcript of RNA, which first has to undergo a series of modifications to become a mature RNA. Types and steps involved in the maturation processes vary between coding and non-coding prionas. Even though perna molecules for both mRNA and trna undergo splicing, the steps and machinery involved are different. The processing of non-coding RNA is described below. The processing of prima include 5-capping, which is set of enzymatic reactions that add 7 methylganosine to the 5N of pre-mRNA and thus protect the RNA from degradation by exonucleases. The M7G cap is then bound by cap-binding complex heterodimer, which aids in mRNA export to cytoplasm and also protect the RNA from decapping. Another modification is 3-cleavage and polyadenylation. The occur of polyadenylation signal sequence is present in pre-mRNA, which is usually between protein coding sequence and terminator. The pre-mRNA is first cleaved and then a series of 200 adenines are added to form polyatail, which protects the RNA from degradation. The polytail is bound by multiple polyobinding proteins necessary for mRNA export and translation reinitiation. In the inverse process of detonation, polytails are shortened by the CCR4 not 35 exonuclease, which often leads to full transcript decay. A very important modification of eukaryotic pre mRNA is RNA splicing. The majority of eukaryotic pre mRNAs consist of alternating segments called exons and introns. During the process of splicing, an RNA protein catalytical complex known as spliceosome catalyzes two transesterification reactions, which remove an intron and release it in form of lariat structure, and then splice neighboring exons together. In certain cases, some introns or exons can be either removed or retained in mature mRNA. This so-called alternative splicing creates series of different transcripts originating from a single gene. Because these transcripts can be potentially translated into different proteins, Splicing extends the complexity of eukaryotic gene expression and the size of a species proteome. Extensive RNA processing may be an evolutionary advantage made possible by the nucleus of eukaryotes. In prokaryotes, transcription and translation happen together, whilst in eukaryotes, the nuclear membrane separates the two processes, giving time for RNA processing to occur.